In October 2022, a brutal murder shocked the community of Moveni Heights in Durban, South Africa. A Zimbabwean woman, Brenda Mutrakanyama, allegedly killed her husband, Tinotenda Mozonga, in their rented home and fled the scene. The motive behind the killing remains a mystery, but some suspect that Brenda was having an affair and Tinotenda had discovered it. This is the story of a deadly love triangle, a cold-blooded killer, and a manhunt across two countries. Brenda and Tinotenda were both from Zimbabwe, but they met and married in South Africa, where they both worked as domestic workers. They seemed to have a happy marriage, but behind closed doors, there was trouble brewing. According to some of their relatives, Brenda was cheating on Tinotenda with another man, and Tinotenda was suspicious of her. On the night of October 28, 2022, Brenda and Tinotenda had a heated argument in their home. Brenda then attacked her husband with a blunt object, hitting him on the forehead until he lost consciousness. She then stabbed him several times with a knife, leaving him to bleed to death on the floor. She locked the door and took his ID, passport and birth certificate, possibly to conceal his identity and delay the investigation. She then called one of their neighbors and asked them to check on her husband, claiming that he had not arrived from work when she left home. She also sent a text message to her lover, telling him that she had done something terrible and that she needed help. The neighbor went to the house and found Tinotenda's body. He immediately called the police and reported the crime. The police arrived and launched an investigation. They identified Brenda as the main suspect and issued a warrant for her arrest. They also contacted Tinotenda's family in Zimbabwe and informed them of his death. Tinotenda's family was devastated by the news and they arranged to repatriate his body to Zimbabwe. He was buried two weeks later and they appealed to the public for any information on Brenda's whereabouts. Meanwhile, Brenda was on the run. She managed to evade the police and cross the border into Zimbabwe, where she had relatives and friends. She changed her appearance and used fake documents to avoid detection. She also kept in touch with her lover, who helped her with money and shelter. The police in South Africa and Zimbabwe cooperated to track her down, but she proved to be elusive. They followed several leads and searched various locations, but they could not find her. She was wanted for murder, but she was nowhere to be found. The case of Brenda Mutakanyama remains unsolved to this day. She is still at large hiding from the law and living with dark secrets. She may have escaped the authorities, but she can never escape her conscience. She will always be haunted by the memory of the man she loved and killed.